Hey guys, it's Justin here for Flannel Flats. I just want to make a quick video. I wanted to show you three really cool video game pickups I've gotten here over the last two weeks. Two of them are brand new. One's a little bit dated, but still really cool. So anyway, strap in. It's going to be one cool ride. Yeah. Ah. Wrap it up. Cut. Cut. Just... Alright guys, so my first video game pickup I'm going to show you, I know it's a little bit older one, but Uncharted 4, the collector's edition, comes in this awesome uh, steelbook case, you can see, it's really cool. Um, Uncharted 4 is my favorite Uncharted game, not that the other ones are any, any less great, but this one just blew me away. The story, the graphics, and just really also the story was fantastic, but this was really cool for me to pick up. Um, I had looked at getting this for a long, long time. Um, it was usually around 100, 120, but it had been sitting there at my local Best Buy for, I guess, two years, and they were trying to sell it for $40, so I was like, uh, done. So anyway, you get that with it, but you also, you get this cool Uncharted 4 art book, I'll try to flip through a few pages here for you, just gets a kind of behind the scenes look here, kind of a bad angle, but you get the idea art book it's really cool but on top of that of course the main reason i got this and wanted this the nathan drake statue pretty cool really good quality sorry my lighting's a little bit weird in this room but this is my bedroom by the way hey guys but anyway extremely detailed really cool stands even cool got cool texture mossy feel to it so this was awesome nathan drake uncharted best series ever made Right there. So there's that. And then brand new, just ordered and just came in today. Enter the Gungeon physical edition for PS4. Currently, this is the only physical edition out for Enter the Gungeon. But let's show you what you get here. Uh, let's get let's do that. One, you get, of course, a physical copy of Enter the Gungeon. This is actually the reverse um, cover here. I'll try to open this up real quick for you. Get you looking inside. I have number 82. Let me take this disc out and I'll show you what the cover actually is. Hello. So there's that. Really cool. Which I could have just bought the game. The game would have been 30 bucks. I've been cheap. But I can't just go can't go small here in Flannel Flats. Gotta go big and expensive apparently. So got the Ammo Nonicon, which I can't hardly even say, but it's a super cool. This is actually in the video game itself where you can look up what different guns are what different enemies are, and it's just, I mean, look at this, that is super, super, um, you, you heard it here, folks, it's super cool, so, had to have it, Gungeon, funny thing is, I almost never bought Gungeon, my friends, um, I don't remember if they bought me the gift card, they may have bought me a gift card, I don't remember, but I was trying to figure out what to buy with it on the Switch, this, you know, this is decently early on, and one of them, maybe both of them said, you should get into the Gungeon, and I was like, all right, I'll try, it was like 10, 15 bucks, Best fifteen bucks ever spent. Best fifteen bucks. Great game. Of course, this cost me like I don't even want to say it was it was expensive. Anyway, move on to the last item and maybe the coolest: the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Special Edition. Um, shoot, who made this? It was those guys. Dark Horse. Dark Horse. I got it upside down here. Let me try to get this out. It's a little bit rough. Ugh. Oh, that didn't sound great. All right. Got this humongous book, Creative Champion. Create, creating a Champion. I'm sorry, I'm looking at all this stuff weird. But yeah, this is a book that has like everything Breath of the Wild. I mean, it's 300 pages. Look at this. Just, oh, Breath of the Wild. Honestly, in my opinion, one of the best games ever made. Like, it was just amazing. Blows me away. I cannot wait till they make a sequel to it. Um, this is just... Mm. Look at me. Oh, look at that. Oh. Oh, yeah. Look at that guy. Ah. Love this game. This is so cool. I'm going to be spending hours looking at this stupid book. But that's not the only reason I bought this. Oh, no. There's plenty more. So. When you beat the game... And I guess actually, more, when you beat through uh, beat the champions DLC all the way, you get to this picture to hang up in your house. I mean, look at that! Ain't that really really cool? And it has this little thing. By the way, I found this when I was looking through my teacher's notes. I was thinking you should keep the you you should be the one to keep it, Cass. 
So you get this in the game, get to hang up in your house. One of the just a perk for beating the game, a little trophy, I guess. And you actually get to hang it up in your house that you have in the game. So it's really cool to actually have a physical physical form. That's so cool. So moving on. All right, guys. Sorry, I had to cut there and start this part. Also, have this cool envelope here, which you're asking, what could be in this envelope? Well, I'll show you. That's why I had to cut here. This amazing map, which my lighting in here is gonna be a little weird, so it looks a little different. But this is the whole map you get to play in in Breath of the Wild. Um, this is actually it's cloth. I mean, uh, soft to the touch. I, and it's some kind of cloth paper on the back, but like cloth. You can hear that. Yeah, this is like super cool. Um, there goes that said envelope. Um, I didn't realize how big this was going to be and how detailed. So I'm going to have to spend some more money and probably get this frame because I don't want this to get, you know, torn or anything. Plus, it's super cool. I'm going to have one heck of a Zelda um, showcase when I'm sitting done with everything. So there's that. Um, there is one more cool thing that came with this package. Um, let me flip up right here. It's on the front. This actually flips down. It says, May the God to smile upon you. What that is, I can get this out. Falling, come on. <laughs> yeah. Fall that way. So it has this little box and it has a spirit orb from the game. So you, what you do in the game, you, you beat the shrines and you get this little spirit orb. Once you get, I believe, four of them, you get to turn them into, um, I don't know, a goddess or something. Anyway, you pray to them, and you can either turn this in for more heart containers or more more uh, stamina. So these are a really important part of the game. You can't get very far if you don't have these unless you're just a god, which I am not a god at that game. So that's really cool to actually have like a cool little replica of that. And got that in the middle, the little Zelda symbol in the middle. That's so cool. So I'm geeking out a little bit today. It's almost like Christmas. Got home from work and had all this stuff here. So... So yeah, guys, look, I mean, this is, this is it. Like, sorry, it's kind of my room and just like messy room, but this is super cool. Just wanted to show you that. Get a little more stuff. Say bye to Drake one more time. See you, buddy. Um, but yeah, that is, that is it. Hope you all enjoyed this. Um, hope you, um, if you really, if you really enjoyed it, like, and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. Hopefully sooner than this one came up because I had, I keep going like a month two months sometimes three months between so hopefully you can get a little more regular but here we go i wanted to make this quick one hope you all enjoyed it i'll catch you all in the next one see you guys